Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a bit of a build video. Um, just started working on the shop area. Um, I'll start posting pictures and everything like that so you can kind of see the progress of this. Uh, so this is just going to be my secondary um, FPV 5 inch freestyle type thing. Um, I'm using uh, a lot of a, this build is kind of based on uh, one of the pri uh, pilots that I, I, I uh, respect a lot, which is Phantom FPV. I like his, his, his aggressive style. Um, and I also like how he's smooth and everything like that and so I've been kind of asking what he flies and I'm kind of taking a little bit of my take into it because I fly exclusively digital where he's still on he still uses analog so uh, this is what we got so we have here uh, the QAVR and that's the luminaire frame then we have uh, zip motors uh, these are going to be uh, the uh, 2307 1750kV zip motors. I got five just so if I ever have a problem at least I have one uh, motor replacement. Um, these are not the Popos and Phantom FPV is more of a Popo. Uh, right now I just mostly have the screw on so I'm going to stay with that. Uh, eventually I'll probably upgrade to this stack that he recommends which is going to be the SP Racing h7 extreme however it's taking forever to get here so in the meantime i'm going to be using the t-motor f7 with the 55 uh, 4 and one uh, esc um, i scrounged one of my uh, dji air units from one of my older uh, my other models uh, essentially i'm retiring one of my uh, the rotor rider hd1 frames that was based on 4s and making both of my freestyle uh, quads go to uh, 6s so that's kind of how I'm doing that. I have some uh, 3D parts on here. The props that I'm going to be putting on to them are going to be the heads up uh, HQ props. They're 5.1 inch and I believe they have like a, a 3.8 uh, pitch. So it's a, a fairly light pitch to it. Uh, I kind of like that. It's very similar to the Ethics Lemon and Lime. They just come in blue and black and so uh, I ordered a few of those and I've liked them so far, so that's what I'm going to initially stick onto them. Uh, these 3D parts are for the DJI mods right here. I kind of got the frame in here and I kind of moved, I put it in some of my own hardware as you can see. Uh, this is the uh, do version of the QAV frame where they have the secondary uh, bottom plate and I have some spare arms um, back. All right, so. One thing I kind of wanted to show you is uh, how Lumineer adjusted their arms. So all you have to do is just buy the arms, whether they're five inch, they have kind of like a, a socket slot into them. And so all you'd have to do is take off these bolts right here uh, and then you can pull out the arm. And this bottom plate makes sure that nothing really bends onto that frame. Uh, you can check Phantom FPVs. Uh, build he shows you I mean, these things are really solid uh, but the one thing that you do break off is the arms from time to time uh, because I am doing the DJI system I have to have a little bit more so I'm gonna have to change out those uh, standoffs and so I got 35 millimeter standoffs so when I have my stack on there I'll be able to put the air unit and then because I'm going to be running uh, 6s I'm going to be using a 35 volt 100 uh, micro farad capacitor the big hulking one and that's kind of going to go in the back area right here uh, just in case and uh, let's see oh um, just for easy easy motor change outs and the first time I've done use these I'm going to try to use the uh, the race wire the, uh, and so I also have the uh, VHB the clear stuff and then I'll put that there and then put out the leads to a certain area and it's going to be an equal distance for each motor put the race wire and then from the race wire it's going to go there that's going to allow uh, this uh, 3D TPU part to sit nice and flush and then on the top I'm going to put uh, the Omegod grip because I really like how that works off in the past the 3D printed part right here is uh, gonna have the battery leads well so I don't have to drill the top frame just that 3d part right there excuse me 
Um, the other, the last thing really that I can think of is going to be the battery strap. And I've gone through a couple battery straps with my Marmot uh, and my DC5 uh, iFlight frame, which is the one I'm retiring really, both the HD1 and the DC5 uh, for this, the, the, the QAV R2. Um, but one of the things I've had problems is that these straps, the ones that you normally get, um, kind of are they'll essentially get worn in a certain area then eventually rip these are the kevlar ones which not only do they have a little bit of a rubber for an extra bit of a grip on them but they seem to last and they're only like two dollars each so i picked up two of those i don't know if i'm going to use both of them or not but it looks like you have two areas there's little notches in there allow for that battery strap to tighten up uh, right now i just use this session for when i'm um, rocking it because my Osmo that I'm recording right now is my primary regular camera uh, down the road I'm planning on picking up the instant uh, 360 1R and uh, checking out that goodness and I'll figure out how to do a, 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 some type of 3D printed mount for that system I think that would be really cool tripod activated alright the motors kind of a unique way they package them So they come with the nut on them, and then you have your, oh, I like them. They have the barrel head ones. I just hope that they are uh, long enough so that they can go through the frame. And check out these right here. <laughs> nice look to them. Okie dokie. Anything else in there? Just some more. Oh, okay, so they have two different sizes of uh, of uh, hex nuts that you can use. Alrighty. Put that aside real quick. And now we'll work on the flight controller. Again, this is the, the T-Motor F7 uh, 55 uh, amp 4-in-1 EC Pro 2. Uh, this is the one that is designed to be plug-and-play with the DJI system because I'm a little lazy and I really do like plug-and-play uh, whenever I did get the H7 Flight controller I will probably either swap out uh, That with my primary flight, uh, my primary uh, Five inch which is the Marmot or I'll put it back into this one So what was that? That was some stickers it looks like or I'm not sure if they are stickers. Yeah, just some regular sticker type things on there. The regular T motor bling on it. Look at that ESC. Isn't that a beauty? Thing though. Okay, let's take out the ESC. Give you guys just a little bit more of a, a look at the ESC. Right there, undersides, yeah, the underside. But uh, that's pretty awesome. To the right side and right up in there. Pretty cool. Doesn't focus. There we go. Some screws. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, so you have the little cover for your flight controller. And then you have some more of the bolts there. Uh, not sure what those are, probably the capacitor. Then you have the F7 flight controller. Uh, 
Gotta get the underside. Okay. Let's see what else is underneath here. So you have a whole bunch of diff different cables. You have the plastic spacers, and then some more of your regular bolts, but those are the mushroom tip, which I generally don't like to. Now, um, I do remember, I wanna say uh, Drone Mesh pointed out when you are using the ribbon that you have it marked clearly as ESC and flight controller, and make sure that you do that, otherwise you are gonna fry it. Um, it does come with the DGI cable as well. Uh, and then a smaller one too, so you have two different sizes of this. Alright, let's put everything back there. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. So here's the race wire, and it looks like the Illuminator race wire has one side coated, and then one side where you'd actually uh, plug it in. Um, obviously they just go across ABC. Um, you're gonna make sure it spins any, the right way anyway when you just update the flash wire. So kind of important when you're doing quads is to kind of just lay out stuff and figure out where you want it to be figured. Want to have a little bit of a little bit of a pigtail. So I'm just kind of seeing how, how much comes out. So I'm probably gonna put Oh, this is the back one, so that's good because that's the one where the other thing would, uh, the uh, D, the DJI uh, 3D piece would, would come out. So just double check. And I think right about here. So I'm gonna get a measurement, and then I'll I'll make a, a loose mark, and then I'll make sure that I'll have no problem moving it to. Uh, the stacks and then we will take apart the top plate just set the uh, stack in there with the DGI unit and make sure all the measurements are good uh, before we really hook up anything so all right